The man himself. Yes, we said, Lewis. Good, good? good. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, nice to meet you. Um, so you come down to something pretty interesting today, don't you? I have, bro. Yeah. Ah, 525 diesel. What is it? Uh, 95 brake horse? No, I'm joking. 177 <laughs> brake stock in it. You are actually a massive E60 fan, right? Yeah, man. Into your BMs as well. Yeah, man. So you got a free 35D as well? Or no, no, no. 330D, sorry. No, I've got um, yeah, E90, E91, 330D. Okay. The state that the missus rolls about in, so. Right. So she's in the uh, diesel whilst you are out in this crazy, so what have you done, a 2JZ swap yeah, into man. a 525D? Yeah, man. Man, so like, the first in the UK, man. Should we get the bonnet up? Yeah. Guys, look at the car. Complete sleeper. <laughs> like, how are you ever going to know that this is in there? Man. It's tucked in there nice, bro. So you actually bought this as a project, you say, yeah? Yeah, so I brought it uh, as a project. It had a few issues, man, wiring issues. So she was already situated in there, man. It was a... A GE block with a turbo conversion. Okay, so what is that for people that are unaware? So that's a naturally aspirated 2JZ lump. Okay. With obviously, it's just a turbo strap to it. Right, so it's the same engine, but just not. Uh, yeah, yeah, just like no oil squirters, man. Obviously, yeah, different inlet, different head. Took it to my mate Jack Tonkin. Uh, he mapped it up. We've got 500 brake. And like, that's on the limit, man, for a GE bottom end, man. Ran that for about six or seven months and mm -hmm. then lost all pressure on a bearing and. That was it, mate. She was fucking right. dead. Pulled her out, stripped her. She's fully forged now. So that's Aris, Aris pistons, Manly H tough rods, uh, uprated wrist pins, um, ARP studs. Uh, that's like bottom end, so fully forged. Uh, top end, all that's got is GSC uh, BI valve springs, uh, stock cams. Uh, she's got ATI damper, uh, Blue Gates racing belt. Um, yeah, full works. Yeah, man. Go on. Exhaust. Uh, exhaust side of things, man. That's got a Walton Motorsport uh, T4 twin scroll and a single gate. Um, strapped to that, we've got a whole set HE 400 hybrid. Uh, that's billet compressor wheel, like enlarged billet compressor wheel. Compressor housing all machined out. Uh, and what's that like? What's the how's the turbo like in the car? Is it? Is it? Calm, it's all right, man. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all right, man. People bad mouth whole sets, man. But yeah, yeah. she. She's live, man. Well, what's it, um, what's it good for, power-wise, the turbo? Um, people that I got it off, man, they've said it's good for 800 brake, man, but mm. like, on the mapping side of things, there's a few little things you need to change, man, to be getting up to about 800 brake. And what are you running today? So at the minute, that's 604 brake. That's 610 lab fit yeah. pan at all. Right. So yeah, she's frisky, man. That's crazy, man. man. And uh, what's the engine good for? Uh, the engine's good for about 1,000 brake, man. It just needs a set of cams in there, different coils. Um, different injectors, man, and yeah, you would be good. Good for a thousand, yeah. Yeah, man. And uh, what's the plan? Are you looking to up the boost soon or change yeah, the yeah, right? Yeah, I'm wanting to be about 800 brake, man. But mm. as it sits now, that's that's frisky. As More it is, than man. enough, yeah. Yeah, mate. <laughs> uh, what about uh, ECU mapping and stuff like that? Um, so she runs with a standalone ECU, a Link G4 Storm, Yaris coil packs, uh, 850s injectors, uh, free bar map. Mm. And then like, just on the crank, man, it's just a 2JZ. Yeah, and uh, any boost limit in or any low boost, high boost, map? Nah, mate, just literally straight on. Just just on the boost, mate. Yeah, okay. That's got um custom inlet. Uh, that's got a crack in it in a minute. That's my well, third time that's cracked, so literally just waiting for a new one to come up through the post. Right, is it going to be? Yeah, it's, it's boosting boost. about 1.4 bar, yeah. man, in a minute. It's still rapid, though, yeah? Still live, mate. Transmission side of things, man. It runs with a PMC adapter, so it runs with an E39 530D five speed box. Mm -hmm. Uh, M5 E60 diff, M5 E60 brakes all round. 
Um, yeah, so we can stop now. What's it like handling then? What does it just it's immediately go into the ball spin or any traction control? Or? Oh, mate, it's, there's no, it's just you and it, man. <laughs> it's, it's live, man. Literally, mate, you'd be third, fourth, or fifth. Yeah. Sat at one, man. As soon as it comes on boost, man, she just wants to step. Yeah. And then did you say the brakes, sorry? Yeah, M5 V60 M brakes. Okay, M5, what are they like? Any good? Yeah, man. Stop yeah, you're not a fan of the E60, though, are you, the M5? Bro, mate. Oh, Come on, man. Mate, a v, them V10s don't sound... Oh, like guys, you're hearing this. Look, he's E60 guy, and he's not a fan of the V10. I ain't, mate. It's more yeah. I'm more of a diesel, man. What power diesel did you have before this, then? Uh, I've, I've had them all, mate. 525, 535, and a 530D. I think out of all of them, mate, if you get a 530D, stage 2, map that on a manual box, man. Yeah. Yeah, you, you've got to have something quick to keep with them. Mm. Uh, what about interior? Anything going on there? Nah, mate, this is the interior, brother. It's just... Slammed there as well, aren't you? Yeah, man, just on some <laughs> eBay coilovers. M Sport interior. Yeah. Uh, it's got that uh, B2D short shifter on it. Um, other than that, man, I just wanted it as stock as I possibly could. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the boot, it's got um, as well pop on the Bosch 044 pump. Okay. Cool. So what's the actual idea of the car? What, what's it like? Is it is it a daily? Like is, nah, is it nah, a track? Nah, nah literally, literally just, just a weekend thing, man. Weekend, I, I yeah. Daily, this mate, this thing is juicy. It's juicy, yeah. Juicy spot. <laughs> mm, okay. Should we jump out, Lewis? Take for a spin. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Low, isn't it? She's right, bro. So why is it sitting so low? Is that just the look you've gone for, or is it? I always have them low, man. You like them low, yeah. yeah mate. And obviously these are going to be a bit bulky, aren't they? Like the five series from factory. I suppose it's tightened everything up a bit, or? Yeah, it's alright, man. Like you do get a bit of bounce now and then. So you're looking to up the boost. You want to get this to what? 800 horsepower, you said? Yeah, about 800. Yeah. yeah. That's just going to be wild, then, isn't it? Yeah, mate. That is a one-off. Like, has anyone ever done one to one of these? First one, man. First one, yeah. First D60 with a 2JZ in the UK, though. I know there's one over in America. What do you reckon? It was a big job for the owner to do. Uh, to be honest with you, when you look at it, man, man, the minute is easy, mate, because you just still use the E60 subframe. You just might, might, might make up your own engine mounts. How much can you pick up one of these engines, then? Are they expensive? Well, or? a GTE, you can pick them up on a pallet for about three and a half grand, but a GE, obviously, like what this would, mm. you can pick them up in GS300s, man, for like 500 quid. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best sound from a car, you know that. Pumps hard, man. <laughs> and that was it six speed? Five speed. Five speed, yeah. E39, 530D. No driving aids, no traction, stability control. Oh, yeah. Just doing it, man. Got your boost cage up here as well. Yeah, mate, I want to, like, obviously, because with this Link ECU, with this tablet, you can it shows everything, but I want it. Okay. So you ain't got to run any of that, mate. It's just you and it. Right, I've got your, your jewel that you was asking for, Lewis. Yeah. Strong, low down. Yeah. That's why it feels so quick. That Volvo Motorsport Manny, man, mm. they're like the best you can get, mate. The amount of, because it was running a log manifold before, yeah. the amount of back pressure was on it was fucking unreal. So obviously, we went with that equal length twin spool, managed to get like an extra like, 200 foot pound of torque, man, just out of that manifold alone, mate. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> how sick is this? Look how comfortable it is in here, though. Yeah, straight up. We're literally just in a 5 series and you got <laughs> Yeah, that, that pulls suspiciously quick, like it feels... It's naughty, innit? If I was to give a gauge on that being, I would 
would, I would say that's more than 600, man. <laughs> mate, you're getting cussed for the way you're sitting, trust me. You gotta sit back in this way. You can't you gotta sit, sit back. <laughs> you hear that guys, you gotta sit back. You gotta sit back, <laughs> you gotta hold on with this. <laughs> sat in here how hard it pulls mate. <laughs> Been in the passenger or uh, I've only let one person drive this man and that's a mate of mine.
nice to drive, man. Easy. Uh, the gearbox is, um, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? It's like, you think it's in, but then it goes down even more, like, um, solid, like, so mechanical, like, no bullshit. Slots in, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, yeah, mate, this yeah, thing yeah. we take no prisoners. Like, mate, what a fucking car, man. Cheers, mate. This is a dream build, man. Yeah, sound, bro. Only one in the UK, like. Yeah, mate. <laughs> 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 fucking naughty, brother. Jesus, man. <laughs> Shit, mate. She's a beast, man. Beast, mate. <laughs> I tell you, mate, she is a fucking, fucking, fucking weapon, mate. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, straight away you get to Bandit, but I was in Brigham. Alright, Lewis, man, I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, mate, thank you so much for coming down. Uh, do you have any social media links where people can find? I don't, I don't think you have got much of you. Uh, listen, man, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, but I ain't got no page for the car. Like, if you want to find it, it's lewis.little.one. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like showing the motor off, man, but if, if you put like, E62JZ, you, you definitely find it, man. She's definitely out there. I think you need a page, man. Guys, I'll pin something in the comment section. I reckon you should definitely have an Instagram for this car. But um, what about the companies that did any work? Uh, do you want anyone to tune? Two JZs, uh, Jack Tonkin at Jay's Garage. Man, that guy can tune really well. You can see, mate, that thing is a weapon. Mate. Yeah, he honestly. Work his magic, man, he knows his stuff. For manifolds, the best you can get, Walt and Mulk Sport. Do you know what I mean, mate? They're twin scrolls. Their, their work is second to none, man. Yeah. yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.